Now, one thing that um, one thing that you mentioned in your bio as I was reading over that, and that is you have really um, mastered uh, working with uh, acquisitionists, finding acquisitionists, getting the acquisitionists trained. So Absolutely. how about um, first tell everybody what is an acquisitionist and what kind of responsibilities do they does an acquisitionist have? Absolutely. So what we look at is we hire people to come on as what we consider to be acquisition reps within our organization. And those acquisition reps, when they uh, come on board, you know, they're, they're basically, their whole focus is to basically bring deals into the pipeline. So we look at, we have metrics that we look at, Jay, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And my uh, COO, Ashley, runs uh, basically uh, every morning she meets with the team on a Zoom. Right. And she gets on there and every single morning there, she's looking at the metrics. And what we're looking at is acquisitions. We're looking at basically the number of calls they're putting in, the number of connections they're making, and then the number of offers that they're making. And we know that we have, we have actually dialed this in, Jay, to what we call uh, our success formula. And our success formula, it means that if we are following a sales process, if they're following my sales process, and they've been trained in that, then they should average one contract out of every five offers. Okay. Okay. So then what we can do, Jay, is reverse engineer that. And we know based upon that, what they should start looking at and regarding the number of contracts per month. So mm -hmm. it's not uncommon for us to bring in 30 contracts in a month. I got you. That's fantastic.